How's everybody today? This is like a lazy Saturday afternoon. I'm, I'm going to do my nails. This is a bright, this is bright. It's the sun coming from that window, sorry. But this is supposed to be a true light so you could see. <clears throat> How's everybody? Hey, Sayuri Spray, how are you? Having a good weekend? I um, I did my nails last week. These are what they look like. So, um, they're tight. It's time to um, do it, redo it. Oh, I'm glad you're having a good weekend. <clears throat> Let me move this up a little closer. So, so you could see the nails and everything. Looky Lou, hi. Hope you're having a good weekend. So I, I you guys, I threw out <clears throat> my nail polish and <laughs> and I really am never gonna use nail polish again. And I'll never go to a salon ever again because I found this stuff. It's called Color Street Nails, and they're these nail strips. So I'm going to do my nails today, and you guys pick which one you want me to do my nails today. Which color do you want me to do? So I'm going to give you a brief. You'll see it briefly, and then we'll number it. This one you probably saw before. And um, so you saw the different ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six different ones. And in a moment, we'll pick a color. But I was using these before. These are like, they're Korean. You can get them in the grocery store even, believe it or not. You can get it um, in anywhere that sells anything. I'm serious. But they really damage your nails. The nail beds start coming, lifting off, and you got to use, when they pop off, you got to glue it back on with nail glue, and nail glue really damages your nails. So, and these were about, like this one was on sale for $4. It was black. But, and this one looks like candy. It was on sale for like $5. But they're normally about $8 or $9 a box. And they'll only last you maybe three or four day tops. You're not going to get much, much wear out of it. It's kind of like a cosmetic you know what I mean? And it's not really like you go into the salon and it's not a gel. Gel nails, I can't stand. I can't stand it because you're there at the salon. You got to put your fingers in the ultraviolet light. How is that even good for your skin? You know what happens when you're exposed to ultraviolet light? You get really tanned, right? It like damages, like it's cooking your fingers, right? Makes your fingers look old, right? Right, right, right. Agree, agree, agree. <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> but plus this pandemic, who wants to sit with a mask on at the salon all day? So I started with, I was, I got these samples from a friend. And they, it looks like this. And um, I was like, whoa, these really work, right? This one's flowers. So I'm going to, you got, you, um, I don't know. Do you do your nails? I do my nails. I used to do my nails, you know, yeah. I don't like going to the salon and breathing all the fumes and, oh, 
I'm so sensitive to smells. By the way, it really, smells can really screw me up. But anyway, pick, let me put this aside. Pick, here's number one. It's called BU. And it's got like a, it's like light pink with bees on it. I've been wearing that for like two or three weeks. And then there's this, it's purple with glitter. And then this one's called Tokyo Lights. So that was number one was BU. Number two is uh, Ibiza, I don't know how to say it, Ibiza <laughs> Nights. And then this is Tokyo Light. And then this one, what is this one? Do you know the drill? It's kind of like a navy with like iridescent, not navy, but kind of dark blue with glitter. It's kind of hard to tell. Can you see that? That's number, that's one, two, three, four. And number five is Seattle Royale. Can you see that? That's number five. And then this one is number six. This one is Shangri-La. It's all glitter because I love glitter. Plus I live in Vegas, so. I'm all about the glitter. In a moment, we're going to vote. Let me write down. This was number one. This doesn't really work. This was number two. This pen is like, there we go. This is number three. This is number four. This was number five, and this one's number six. You like four? Okay. Anybody? Yeah. Okay, no, we got a tally for number four by Sayuri Spray. And anybody else here? Looky Lou says purple. So purple was number four. Wait. You both are saying this purple one. It's kind of purple blue. I think I called it blue, sorry. This one's purple. So this number two is what Looky Lou wants. Okay, number two. We got, now it's tied. We got number two and number four. We need somebody to break the tie. Anybody, anybody watching? <laughs> we need somebody to break the tie or think guess guess again these are the other colors this one is BU number one which I've been wearing a lot you probably saw all over the live streams this one's number two it's a purple. This one's number three. This was Tokyo Lights. And then number four was this blue. And number five, C Seattle Royale. This one. And number six is Shangri-La. Shangri-La, Shangri yep. I changed to number, okay. <laughs> so we're going to do number four. So number four is this one. It's like, uh, it's called, do you know the drill? It's blue and it's got glitter. Thanks for voting, you guys. Thanks for participating. And thanks for watching. I don't know who the third person is who's watching. But now let me, 
Is this the right one, number four? Okay, this is the right one, you know the drill. Good choice. I was really gonna either do this or this today. <laughs> so it's really funny that it came down to these two, right? It is pretty funny. <laughs> so, um, so, uh oh, I forgot the nail polish remover. Darn, I'll be right back. We could take a sip of, I made limeade because I have limes that ripened on the. And also, you should have a lot of light. And then there was light. And then, and then there was light. <laughs> I'll be right back. I forgot the nail polish remover and the cotton. So I'll be right back, okay? I'm coming back, here I come. I'm coming back, girls and guys, or whoever's watching. I'm back. And I brought these two guys, because it's October. You still need nail polish remover, because it's actually, it's actually nail polish strips. So it's real paint. And I'm going to just kind of go like this right now. So, man, these are the best. They're from Japan. They're just cotton squares. But they're the best things ever. I mean, we sell them in the U.S., but these are made different. Like, like they're a little pillowy, you know. And then this nail polish remover is the best ever. It's also made in Japan, and I bought it from this app called Yes Style. So if you were in the salon right now, what would you be doing? You would be wearing a mask, wouldn't you be? Well, I'm going to do it because I'm sensitive to nail polish remover. It's strong. So we're gonna just, I'm just gonna bring this up here. We got nail polish remover. I'm gonna have like some beans, rice and salmon for dinner later. And I'm going to make it like a Mexican seasoning type of salmon. So here, we're going to just remove it. What are you guys having for dinner? So there's two ways that I work on removing this since this is glitter i thought i would try for the first time some nail polish remover but you're shopping oh i love kmart i don't even know we have one somewhere Still in Vegas, and they closed them all down. 
So this is just a hanging out live stream to hang out with you guys and whatever you want to do while I'm doing my nails. So, you know, normally when you remove glitter, glitter nail polish, remove, you know, takes forever to take off, right? But look how fast that was with this nail polish. This is good stuff. But I have another way that I want to show you guys. Let me just get this these tools out. Now I want to take this mask off. My friend made this. Okay. So you can see my face. Who's this? Follow the sun. What up? How you doing? Oh, the fan turned off. I need to have a fan on and light. Quick, I'm on a road trip. Oh, cool. Where are you going on your road trip? You've been going on a lot of cool trips. How you doing? Having a, you must be having a great weekend. I haven't been feeling well all week, you guys. It's been crap. Very crappy, but I'm okay right now. So this is a tool that I took out of the Kiss Nails it's like a wooden, um, see how it has like this and this, like a pick and a, I don't know what you call it, but it's a nice tool for these. It doesn't come with this color street. And of course I bought a Japanese nail cutter. These are the bomb and it has a little file I bought this when I was in Japan. And sometimes you need this tool. This is like a, kind of like a cuticle cutter sort of scraper. <clears throat> but anyway, um, Where are you going on your road trip, follow the sun? I was gonna show you how else I removed. Instead of nail polish remover, I use this side and you just lift it off and it doesn't take off your nail bed because this kind of nail strips, see how it's just lifting up? Let me bring this a little up. See how it's kind of lifting up? Because it's real nail polish. I kind of like this better than using nail polish remover because I don't want that chemical. You know what I mean? And I bought non-acetone um, nail polish remover. I don't like it. This is takes the same time as nail polish remover than using this tool. I don't even know what it's called. It's just a wooden pick sort of. See, just comes right off and it doesn't take off your nail bed. My nail beds got messed up from these. So if I use those, it's because I ran out of run out of these, you know. This is a good October fall color, right? I don't I Oh, I need to plug in my laptop. Hold on, people. It's not, it's not dinner time yet. It's like four o'clock here in Vegas right now. And um, I did make like a nacho 
not nachos. I did like bean dip with cheese and salsa and I ate that. And then I had this limeade. It was full of ice that melted. That's refreshing. Limes right off the tree. There's nothing like it. This is great stuff. It's made in Japan. It's better than any nail polish remover I've ever used in the U.S. Ever. So we, we uh, voted on this one earlier, if you missed it. Because I was either, out of all the six colors anyway, I was going to either, I really wanted one of the purple or the blue. So good choices. No. Oh, you... You bite your nails. You don't need long nails for these nail strips, though, either. They're really pliable. So you can see where um, these screwed up my nail beds. That's where the nail polish gets caught up. If the nail beds were healthy, I could easily just use this to lift off the nail polish and not my nail bed at all. You didn't crash my party. Everybody's invited to this hangout. Um, Usually I turn on like music or put on a YouTube video in the background. <laughs> I might just do that, put a YouTube video on in the background. You guys, I keep getting spammed by somebody and they have the worst photos. Have you seen it? Oh my God. And they have like pornography type photos. And I have to find that, find every time, every time they leave a comment, I got to go and remove it. It's bad. I don't want that on my channel. I don't even, I, and I keep blocking them and they keep coming back. And because it's their photo and not what they're saying, it just keeps popping on. I can't stand it because then I got to look at the notification. I might just turn the comments off. I'm sick of it. But I like to read people's comments. I'm just sick of seeing those horrible photos. Kids, ladies and gents, don't do porn, okay? Just don't do it. Okay. So see how it just came off so easy and then when it got to the damaged part, it kind of stuck. I blocked them too, but it keeps, there's like so many, it's like a whole spammer and they leave Comments that are nice, but their photos are horrible. I won't even talk about it anymore. I'm done. If you see them, report it for me, and then maybe if there's more than one report, then they'll go away eventually. 
somehow. At least they're not, well, one comment was saying dog because I block the B word. Instead of that, they're like, dog, I love you. Dog, this, dog, that. Oh, my God. That's what happens, though, when you're in social, like a social media type thing. This was cool nail polish. See it? I like it, but it, it it's a week later, and I was doing a lot of chores and cooking, and then I it started messing up. But normally, you'll get about a week out of these. That's a norm, and you don't have to wait for it to dry, like stupid nail polish, which I can't stand. So um, I was going to turn on a YouTube video, wasn't I? I found this really cool. Oh, I want to tell you guys, I don't know if you heard of Photo Loop Hawaii. He has Photo Loop Hawaii Travels and Photo Loop Hawaii. He was so nice. He puts me, like, if he's doing a Hawaii update. Wait, too bright. If he's doing a Hawaii update, he'll ask people to subscribe to me. He'll run it on the end of the video. I'll show you. That was so nice of him. If you guys can support him, just go and subscribe. It's Photo Luke Hawaii. But let me see where he, he, he was telling people about Andy Bumatai and Dan Kayser. And then he, this is where, oh, an ad is running. Stop. Oh, this is Luke from, him and his wife and, Austin do travel. They travel too. See, see what? Oh crap! Isn't that nice of him? Shout out to Luke and his family. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Thank you. I need all the support, you guys. It's so hard to, after they change their rules, I have been getting hardly any subscribers. And most of my views are during when I'm out and about live streaming and I can't go out and about unless I carry a laptop with Wi-Fi, which is stupid. Because I don't want my laptop to get damaged, you know? Yeah, he is awesome, isn't it? You know him, right? You watch him. You know, he is an awesome dude. He and his wife and Austin are awesome. And um, at the beginning, when I only had like 50 or so subscribers, they were there watching. They usually pop up on the live stream. But he's getting really good at his videos. He does really cool... Um, Updates for Hawaii because you guys I'm gonna go one day soon. I do not want to do a quarantine though. I know they're letting people back in, but it's ridiculous. I don't want to take all these tests. I want to wait. I I think it'll mellow out. I don't know. I'm just gonna have hope and hope for the best that this pandemic is gonna mellow out. Some it's just gonna Oh man, I just hope so. You know, I'm just so sick of the whole world is wants to travel. We all want to travel, everybody, most of us, right? We want to travel. But um 
what video I wanted to show you guys. I came across this photographer who does, you never see him on the videos, but he does all kinds of, um, he's really, really good with his um, photos. Like I'm a photographer, so I appreciate good photography. You know, his, his channel, I just subscribed to it. He ha he, he doesn't even know who I am. It's called Tokyo Explorer. It's really well done. And you know, you never see him. He walks around Tokyo, but he never puts his presence kind of different than what we see from other YouTubers. It's a different approach. He just walks around and talks and he'll look at the chat, but you never see his face. We don't know what he looks like. <laughs> Nobody knows. If you ran to him, oh, you have? Yeah, I like his style. When if you, he's like, you wouldn't know who I am. You wouldn't, you don't know my face. And if you ran into me, cause somebody was chatting, but yeah, I just found his channel cause it came up in the suggestions. I don't know why it didn't come up in the suggestions before, but it, that's the first time I knew about it. Everyone has an angle. Yeah. We don't know. Maybe. Yeah. He's. And then of course, uh, most of you guys, I need to give a shout out to, well, it used to be Tokyo Drew, but now it's totally Drew, right? And then he's got other channels that he just started. So if you don't, whoever's watching this later, because I think everybody here totally knows totally Drew. <laughs> shout out to Drew. Totally Drew. The Chappelle. Dave Chappelle of YouTube. Just kidding. Anyway, check out his channel. See, I got to the part where I had damage and it'll stick. But when these grow out better, it'll just be smooth and simple to remove this polish, you know. Oh, and don't forget John Dobbs channel. I guess he had to start over. He's trying to get back to more subscribers. He's, I think he's got 200 K when he used to have million, one point something million, which that kind of sucks. <laughs> he had to start over. Um, I don't know what happened. I used to be on his Patreon and all that, and I, I'm no longer there because how could I contribute money to his channel if I need money for this channel? <laughs> he seems to be doing okay on his own without me contributing. He isn't hurting very popular god i know a lot of people quote or use him as a reference when i'm watching these other youtubers his name pops up and half of these youtubers don't know who he is but everybody else does but anyway i have one more guess what remember i told you i lost footage 5,000 videos and photos and who knows what was, I know what was on there. It was a, I don't even know how to say it, Meiji um, temple that was in kind of off of, what is that park? Is it Wayno? No, it's not Wayno Park. It's the other one, Yogi Park. It was near Yogi Park. 
and I was going to make a video because I did a live stream there before when I was in Tokyo. And that's all that's left of those videos is whatever I live stream. At the time, I could live stream because YouTube didn't have the thousand subscriber rule. It was anybody free for all, which I disagree. If you had it and you were doing it and you were already a part of the channel, I think they should have grandfathered anybody in. And anybody new from this date on to that date would have had to reach a thousand subscribers if they didn't do it that way. Everybody that didn't have a thousand subscribers can't live stream on their from their mobile or whatever, which I disagree with. And then um, anyway, the next video, my last Japan video, if I can find the other footage from Meiji Shrine. I haven't found it. I'm gonna look on another hard drive to see if maybe it's on there. But um, that would have been another video that I, that video is gone. But at least there was a live stream which I enjoyed. That was a fun live stream. Yeah, I could do it on Facebook, but I noticed the connection is bad. It'll say poor connection, poor connection. Or, and then you can't see it like YouTube, the chat, like I could see you guys. You can't. And later when I, when I end the video, I see everybody who chatted and everybody who stopped by and they were trying to talk communicate with me and I didn't see it because Facebook didn't show it to me even though I had a really great connection and it just didn't show the chats even though the setting wasn't not to show it you know what I mean so I noticed that the the live streaming platform is better on YouTube than believe it or not than it is on Facebook and I used to do that on Facebook and I gave up yeah so uh, and then the instagram one you can only go an hour and it cuts you off and then you got to start another one and then it disappears if you don't save it kind of like when i was on what is that is it called discord no it's the other gaming one that i started and then I stopped because it was, I was, oh, Twitch. I found that that, like all the effort that I took with everybody and it would delete eventually like it does on Instagram. It just expires like in 24 hours or something and you can't save it. At least on Facebook, you can save the video but I'm just going to have to do what I got to do, do what I can, you know, do what I can. Yeah. I'm at the end of the nails that were damaged. It's taken longer to remove. In fact, I think I'm going to use, the nail polish remover. You know what? I think I don't need the face mask because it's with the fan over me, the ceiling fan. It's not like when you're in the, you know, when you're in a salon and you can smell everybody's nail polish remover. Oh, I have this chocolate lab. It's our, it's a family dog that I'm caring for. It's my brother's family dog because I live in this house and they travel. 
and they were just here. They'll be back again. <laughs> Coloring the dogs. Her nails are black. So that would be kind of hard. Her nails are pure black. And it's hard to cut her nails because you can't figure out where the quick is. Oof. Poor doggy. I only had one occasion where I kind of cut a little too much, but it, it wasn't like bad, bad, like, you know what I mean? And then I got Vaseline and stopped the uh, bleeding, but it had already stopped bleeding because I didn't go too far. Oof. Have you ever trimmed animals nails? So I used to have a cat and you could put the cat like a baby like this. And then you can work like this and trim the nails. If you have a cat, you could hold. But a dog will go like this. And then I just, she never fights me because I'm so tender with her. And she, she never feels like she's in trouble. So she lets me do the nail trimming. But when she gets tired of it, that's when I give up and start another time later, give her a break. Gives me a break too. <clears throat> if I have any left over, I could put it on her nails, but she might chew it. Okay. One more piece of glitter. I could see up close really well, you guys. I don't even need glasses. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, definitely got nail damage. Still happening. Oh, I hate that. From the other Kiss nail product. So there it is. I'm going to go wash my hands really quick just to get the nail polish remover stuff off have special designed clippers yeah i have special clippers for her do you have a dog let me know if you guys have pets or children or whatever <laughs> i'll be right back and just wash my hands I think I need to turn on some more light. And then there was light, more light. I think I need more light. I'm back. Did you guys leave in the chat if you have pets or family, children? Nobody. <laughs> I laughed so hard that it fell over. Let me try that again. That must have been a big laugh. So now I have washed my hands and I'm just going to trim the nails with this wonderful Japanese nail 
cutter. It's so precise, it's ridiculous. In a good way, ridiculous, not ridiculous, ridiculous. I like this because it kind of strengthens your nails too. I had a dog named Panda that was a chow chow, a black chow chow. And she was a one person dog. She was, she would never bite anybody, but if you came at me, she was angry about it. Like if you walked up to me, she didn't want any of that. Anybody to be near me. This dog, though, she will bark if she hears somebody outside or if somebody were to enter, she would probably, if somebody were to enter this house, she would probably attack them because she knows you're not supposed to be in here with, <laughs> if you just entered. But... She's friendly to other dogs. That's why when my sister's dog was here, um, they got along with the dog. Sister's dog was an alpha. So she tried to boss Mocha. And Mocha would stay out of the way like, okay, she's having a moment. I'm going to stay over here. It's because uh, Dido was like Panda. She wanted my attention. Even though it's my sister's dog, she wanted everybody's attention. Okay, I'm just going to put that aside. I'm gonna open this. There's a pool tab. And then when you open it, it has instructions. Well, I got two, um, that's weird, two of these files. And it comes with a alcohol swab, because that's your first step. And then here is the color. You actually have to open it up, and it's going to smell, but not that bad. It will smell like nail polish, but not like when you're in the salon. Look at all these other colors. I almost bought this paisley one, but I didn't. It's pretty cool. I need to like buff my nails a little, especially where it got a little damaged from these his products. Yeah, I'm never going back to nail polish in the bottle or gel nail. Nope, not going to do it. Done. This is so much easier. You'll see. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's like amazing. Yeah, I haven't been feeling well all week. And it's not due to the smoke from California. It's nothing like that.
You know, uh, last night I ordered food um, from Shake Shack, and they have a pumpkin shake. It was pretty good. And it had little pumpkin um, pumpkin seeds sprinkled on top and whipped cream, which the whipped cream had already melted by the time it came to me. So it wasn't photo friendly. And my burger was really unphoto friendly, but it was so good. It was worth it paying that much money for delivery and a tip. I don't do that very often. It was so worth it. That was yesterday. But today I had, what did I have? For breakfast, you know how you make like uh, potatoes with eggs and then you kind of put salsa. Yeah. I was gonna play like, uh, the only kind of music I can play is the YouTube loyalty-free or royalty-free, whatever it's called, music. So I'd like to do that. I like to do that when I'm doing my nails, like play some music. What is this? Wait, is this is this royalty free? I'm going to make sure because, shoot, next thing you know, you'll watch this and there'll be ads. Hmm. Oh, you got to buy the license. No, 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 no. I'm glad I stopped. But it sounded nice, didn't it? I wish I could play regular music, you guys, because, because it makes sense. You know what I mean? Okay, let's look over here. I'm looking for... Okay. Stupid ads. I don't have ads on my channel unless somebody copyrighted... Paraben free of par I use paraben free shampoo to you. What is this? Is this really royalty free? This music is driving me nuts. Oh, here's a good one. Okay, there we go. Better. I feel better already. This one's called Summer's End Chill and Jazz Hop. Oh crap, It's this was a wrong one. See how they trick you? You think it's royalty free. And then it says request license. Ridiculousness. Sorry, I got to put some music on or something. Where is the YouTube library? Oh, I can find it right here on my laptop. Hold on, guys. You still see me, but I don't see you. Some of this stuff really... Wait, forget that. I'm just going to play it from here. Sorry. I have a whole playlist that's royalty free. But you know what? None of Some of these are too... I don't know. I'm giving up here. <laughs> it's just too hard. It's taking too much time.
What's this one? Oh, it's too loud. Forget it. It's going to drive me crazy. I'm not in the mood for that. We're almost to the point where we're going to do this and hang in there. I should open this. There we go. We use this to like shape the nail strips. I need to bring you guys closer. Get a little closer. Okay. Hello Kitty fell. I'm gonna put Hello Kitties down here. Bye, bye kitties. Okay, I think I need this one. This file is really for those kiss nails, but it'll work. It's not going to damage. I got a little bit of nail damage happening, as you know. Um... I have that Akihabara video coming up. That's the last one, like I was saying. Okay, I'm ready for this alcohol swab. So simple. Okay. Cats are scary. Good night. Good night. Have fun glittering, glittening. Okay. Now these are prepped, and here we go. I'm about to do that. My nails are so small, I could use the petite ones too. The petite type. I didn't bring scissors. I don't really need scissors, but... Oops. So it comes in these little tabs like this. And it smells like nail polish, but it's like, it's not that strong. It's kind of strong, but it's not that strong. This is a beautiful color. I don't know. Do I need, the, I think I need this one. So you just tear it off like this. And then there's like a, it's like a sticker. You just go like this. And now you're gonna place it on your nail. So let me make sure, hold on, got the wrong side. Go like this. And now it's on there. So simple. And then you're going to get this. Hi, Mindy's mom. Oh, I love Color Street, too. Isn't it the best ever? My friend always gives me 
like freebies and stuff because I'm always on her um, account on her social media. She'll give me perks. So what, what I like to do is press it down like this. And then I'll go like this to it with the file, like just to, you know, get it around now. And it's done. It's done. And you could even, like, I could do this. If I had taken off my toe nail polish, I could put this on my toe because I have small toenails. And then um, I could probably get away with doing my other pinky. No, I won't. Not with this one. I thought I was going to, but it would have been cool on the toe. So now you see how it's kind of lifted. Now you just kind of, let me bring this closer. Oh, I'm getting closer. <laughs> this is all trash. Sorry. Just, there we go. Brush that away. So you see how it's like this right now? Now I'm just going to shape it really nicely with this file. And then you'll see the little pieces. That's when I usually get this tool, which doesn't come with it. It comes with one of these horrible ones. Oh, look at that. That's such a beautiful one. Look at that. That's like a Sakura blossom sort of, right? It's so pretty that I'm going to put it right here. But yeah, you can shape it. Like say you accidentally applied it here. You can just go like this or like this. You could go like this, or you could go like this, and it's done. Oh, I still got a piece stuck on my finger. But see, it was a little, little tiny piece that was stuck. So simple, right? You don't have to wait for it to dry now. It's done. Why go to the salon? Why paint your nails all day and wait all day? You can't even do anything. So now I'm ready. I usually start from the pinky and work my way this way. Not all the time. But, you know, since I got this here, let me see. Should I put this as an accent? Or should I put this as an accent? What do you guys think? Should I? Let me know which one. I think I have more. Hold on. There's one like this. And let me see what else I have. Oh, this one is too, this one wouldn't work with this one. That doesn't match. <laughs> I think that's all I got for the accent. Yeah, that's all I got. I don't think I have anything else. Nope. The rest, I don't want to open these because then once you open it, you got to use it. So which one should I use, you guys, for an accent? Vote. One two, or three. Vote, whoever's watching. One, two, or three. I'm going to put it here on the ring finger. One, two, three. Which one? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? <laughs> there might be a delay, right?
Well, while people are thinking, I'm just going to go and move on to the next one. Show me one. It's like a floral. That's one. This one has purple on the tips. That's two. So this one is called Flora Good. This one is called Nuclear Fusion. And then this one's Shangri-La, I believe. Shangri-La. I'll let you decide. I'm going to do my other nail while you do that. What's weird is this nail on me, my middle finger, is almost as big as my thumb. That's like so weird. So I almost have to use a thumb, like one of the thumb strips. One with this, two, or three with this. Three? Okay, we got to vote for three. Anybody else want to vote? Cast your ballot now. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to need a big, because it's like a ring finger. That's like, it's like everything's small, except this one is almost as big as, it's almost as big as a thumbnail. Isn't that weird? Three. Okay. So this was three. Anybody else? This was one. This one kind of doesn't match, huh? I mean, it could, but not really. Let's throw out number one. Okay, it's between two and three. Between two and three, this was three, Shangri-La, and this one, Nuclear Fusion, is number two. Let me put this one on. Oh, you can go, if you like this product, I don't know where Lucky, is it Mindy's mom buys hers from, but this one comes from Mira, I'll show you in a moment. Let me just stick this on here correctly. See how I just did that? So simple. So freaking simple. And now I'm just going to shape it. But this one has so much strip that I can go on to this nail now. Probably. Let me see how it goes. Probably not. Most of the time I could put it on my toenail. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let me see. No, I damaged it from the first one. Okay. So now I'm just kind of fixing it up. As it kind of got onto the finger and not the nail. So you can, I just get this, you could probably use a toothpick. You just kind of go like this. Like you smooth it, you rub that. It stretches too. So that's pretty cool.
This blue looks purple. Oh, I think, oh, I had a hangnail. I had a hangnail, so it kind of, whoops, I don't mean to be like, <laughs> but I had a hangnail, so it kind of tore, but not that bad. You can't tell. I usually don't have hangnails. Hey, it's on there. So you um, now I'm just going to do my index finger. Which one? This was number three and this was number two. Which one is going to be on my ring finger? You have to decide. I think Looky Lou is saying this is number three. Yeah, usually um, it's so simple that I could do my nail, my toenails and my fingernails. Oh, I'm going to have to, I just tore that on accident. Flip it over. I used to wear this color, but it didn't have this much glitter in it. Now I'm just going to shape it. Smooth it out. Oh, this one needs more shaping. There we go. See, you'll just get these little pieces. It come right off. Simple. So simple. Good color. It's beautiful. What color was this again? It's on the back. Juno the drill. Juno. I've been to Juno, Alaska. Have you? I used to live in Alaska, but not in Juneau. I lived in Anchorage for a short time on base. And then we moved to Eagle River, Alaska, which is a cool little suburb of Anchorage. I am just concentrating as I apply my Jacques Cousteau. The nail is now on. The nail, the nail polish is now on the nail. On the nail, we we. Anyway. See, so this was the, out of the two thumb, there was this bigger thumb, which fits my toenail, and the smaller thumb, and I used the smaller thumb, but now it was big for my thumb, so I have to go and remove just that excess that hit the skin. So in cases like that, I could either use this or this or this. 
Now I'm going to use this without cutting my skin. Because it has like a, see how it, you can just go over and if, if we carefully glide over the excess, it'll just take it right up. But you got to be careful because if you do it too hard, you'll hit what's on the nail and then you got to remove it and put another one on. So in this case, I'm going to just push it down. See how it hit the skin? It went over. Push it down a little more. And it, it started to lift from the nail. See? So simple. And you just get those little pieces off. So it's, see, it's about to come up. Have my new glow in the dark Halloween pattern to put on tomorrow. You're, you're, you're lucky girl. Look, you know why, Mindy? Because I saw it was sold out. I want to see, you got to put that on your Instagram. I want to see it. I do want to see your glow in the dark nails. But if they, if she ever um, gets more in stock, hold on here. Today is the 17th. I'll remove it and put those on. Uh, and well, I don't think I would have to ask for a, a faster delivery. Okay, hold on. I just, I need to do something here. Hold on. Remember I told you I had, I'm, I got hangnails. See, now you can get the, do you do this too? Like if it goes over, do you use this and that and what I just did? Or you just go like this? I got some. I got a hang now happening. Hold on, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta get the uh, alcohol on there and take that off. Gross. I hate it. I hate dealing with skin. I never rub my cuticles up. My mom used to do nails. You never put your cuticle. This is how it looks without rubbing the cuticles up, pushing it up. I never did it in my life, and it's fine. She said, don't do it because you it just keeps growing back, and then you have to keep pushing it up. Okay, I got to fix. I'll fix this later. I got skin cutters like sanitize. So here we go. I still... I think I might use this as an accent. I don't know. This one looks cool, though. She voted number three, Looky Lou. This was number three. I don't know. <clears throat> Gotta do my pinky. <clears throat> Yeah, so for dinner, I'm going to do like a Mexican-type seasoned sweet organic kernel corns and Mexican-seasoned salmon and refried beans with rice. That's going to be my dinner tonight. I'm concentrating. Oh, I did it wrong. See how I had a lift and it's because I put it on there too fast. Usually it's not this complicated, but I did it too fast. Let me see. Yeah, it should be okay. 
Uh, I don't know. No, I kind of screwed that one up. Okay, let's just use this one. Sometimes you screw it up. It's You got so much to work with, though. There's a bunch. And if you kept screwing up, you just shape it. It's so simple. Like you put it so that it hits the skin on your nail anyway. And you just shape it with the uh, file. Oh, I did it again. Why do I keep doing that? Hold on. I keep putting it crooked and then I'm lifting it. There we go. I got it now. This one's a little too big. This should work. And then, so it was a little too big because I used the small one wrong. But it's on my skin, but I'll show you how simple. This kind of matches my dress. Yeah, and if I, I would just put this on one of my toenails because it's ready, but I still have the other color. <laughs> okay. So now you see it's on your skin like this. Let me show you. I'll go down like this here. You just go like this. See, and it comes off here. So simple. Done. Don't have to wait for it to dry or anything. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Now we got to do my middle finger is big. So let's see. Which one am I using? This one. It's so big. Out of all my nails that are small, that is the biggest one. Uh, I put it on crooked. No, it'll work. It'll work. Oh, I could do better. Let me turn it over. See how you could just lift it up? If you were now doing your nail polish to fix something like what I just did, you would be like repainting and painting and painting and painting and get thicker and thicker and thicker. Ridiculous. Takes forever. And then because it's thicker, what happens? It's got to dry longer. Who's got all day to do that? Not me. This would have been awesome on my nail, toenail. I usually do, but you know, like I said, Okay, now I just need to shape it. I don't know, I've never had long nails. I like to keep them like this length. I think they call it active, <laughs> which is short. <laughs> Short nails. And don't forget, you got to kind of rub it on. 
I have this one and this one do. Let's do the thumb. Oh, wait, we got to do the index finger. Let's, let's use this one. Well, that's too big. Let's use this one. Yeah, so I'm going to do the uh, Akihabara video. I'm working on that. And uh, Raiders, like facility and stadium, like their training camp, that kind of stuff. That's one of the other Vegas videos. And some more casino walks. And... Some more food coming up. More food coming up. Why am I keep putting, I keep putting on, hold on, I need to concentrate. <laughs> I keep, this one is screwed. I kept like putting it on wrong. Oh, I'll be okay. Okay, let's open another one then. I don't know why the index finger and the pinky on my hand is the is the hardest ones. I guess because they're slimmer. Okay, that'll do. Now I just need to fix it. Grab it on, grab it on, grab it on. And now the thumb. The thumb. And I don't know if I'm going to do my ring finger in a different color yet. even though there was a vote for number three. Okay. Thumb. Oh, I did it again. Click it. Which I don't know why you can line it up so easily. So simple. Uh, so simple. Uh. Viola. It's not Viola. There we go. The thumb. There we go. Now, I still don't know if I'm going to do the ring finger. Do you know the drill? Should I? Or should I just stick with all one solid color? I don't know. What if I do this? What if I do this? I don't know. I think, ugh, what should I do? I think 
I'm just going to open this one. And I'm going to put it on and see how it looks. And if I don't like it, I'll take it off. <clears throat> Sound good? Here we go. Ooh, it's purdy. Isn't that purdy? It's so purdy. It's just so purdy. Okay, let's put this one on. The other side. Carefully, Linda. This is the one where a cuticle should have been pushed back. This is the only nail that I have a cuticle that always lifts up. Doesn't matter if it's a gel nail or these, or I just don't want to push it back because it's just going to keep getting bigger, a bigger and bigger cuticle. There we go. Ooh. That looks cool. I don't think I'm going to take that off. What do you think? Let me fix it up more. Oh, this one doesn't even hardly need any fixing. You know, all the fixings. All those fixings. Okay. Oh, I got a hanging nail over here. Okay. We're done. I like you. Good choices. How do you like Purdy, it's purdy. Look at that. So it's Genoa de Drill. And then what was this one? Nuclear Fusion. So now, you know, like if you mess up your nail, which I highly doubt is going to happen because these are so very good product. You can like put it in here and put it in the freezer, like tape it in case you damage a nail, like in the next day or so, like, like cook it. And I, you know how you cook it and you go like this and then whoop. And then the knife kind of scrapes your nail because you're like this with the knuckles when you cut, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But you could put this in the freezer. You could seal it. And then, like, if you mess it up, just go take it out of the freezer, wait till it's room temperature, and fix your nail. Just, oh, I love it. I love it. I think it turned out great. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, I was going to show you her Instagram if you guys... Um, want to go check it out. I don't know where Mindy's mom buys hers. But her Instagram is manicure with Mira. Oh, it's manic cure, all one word, underscore Mira. And then you can go on to this link and you can order from here from her website for color street but that's the halloween nails that i thought it was sold out 
She's got the glow in the dark. But um, let me see if they're sold out. Halloween. Oh, she still's got Night Terror. And that's it. She's sold out. But you could probably find somebody. She could probably track it down if you want the glow in the dark. Nell's like Mindy's mom. Thanks for watching. Um, here's the end, my friends. This is the end, my friends. This is the end. So I'm going to um, put this away. Turn off this light. Ooh, too bright. Thanks for watching. And that was just a hangout as I did my nails. You have a good weekend. Yeah, it turned out cool, didn't it? Have a good weekend. And if I finish the video, I'll try to do it Sunday night. And I'll do a premiere for the Akihabara. Bye. Thanks for subscribing. If you've already subscribed, sus, sus, subscribe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to make dinner now, but I won't be doing that live. Okay. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the like a button. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. I'll probably live stream tomorrow. I don't know what time.